Welcome to the workshop. Today I want to share our new dust shoe for the Shark CNC. The Shark CNC is equipped with a 2.2 kilowatt air cooled spindle that is commonly used on many builds. The dust shoe has removable bristles so you have you can see that one half is sitting there and I have the other one here. They are equipped with magnets and there will there's some screws up here that will help guide it in place that will fit in these holes on the U-shaped uh, holder. So that looks hard. Then uh, here there's an opening where you can put the wrench in so you can unclamp the collet. And then essentially you have the body here which uh, if you loosen this screw you can remove the body so it's out of your way uh, and uh, then the pipe that will go out to the uh, exhaust hose here it can stay on the machine and the uh, pipe here is uh, held by two brackets that goes around the spindle on uh, the top and the bottom In order to make room here uh, for the uh, bracket that holds the spindle, this pipe here is flat on this side because we were a little restricted on how much room we had uh, on the other side for the servo motor. The tube here is held up here in this end by half a meter of a glass fiber pipe uh, or rod. Uh, and a little 3D printed top here, so we don't poke a hole in the in the uh, pipe here. And then we go up here. I have a little holder up here that will keep it suspended. And at the other end, we have two glass fiber rods and two of those 3D printed things inside holding it uh, to the back end and then it connects via another 3D print to the vacuum cleaner. So here we have all the parts uh, ready for assemble. Uh, you have the main body, the lower and the upper part and the little lid that can open for the wrench the uh, two U-shaped for the bristles magnets and then the two holders uh, that will hold the uh, pipe and then a connector uh, that has a hole here this is for the uh, glass fiber rod and then the different hardware over here I will start the assembly by adding uh, the magnets to uh, the holders. and I try to orient them in the same way it is made so that if you need to get them out uh, you can actually access them from the back One down. Then we need magnets in this one as well.
So now they are all in place and we can check. Yep. All oriented correctly. If for some reason you end up turning one, it's just popping it out by pressing here and then we can turn it around. Before I already added uh, the nut in here and a screw and a spacer here. But uh, it's the same on all of these three items that you need to press in a nut and uh, add the screw and the uh, washer. So we have the spacer here and the screw. I just need to go through here. And then catch this, the knot in there. And it, it works if it can do like this. It's not, it, I'll just leave it as open as it can. Next one, same story. So with that done, I'm ready to put together the main house here. And essentially it's just putting the two parts together, secure that it's fine. And then um, we have the three screws. Oops, here it's important, you can see there's two lengths. This one has to be a shorter one because of this one. Like that. And don't over tighten them. They're essentially not holding much than just these two pieces together. Just check if the uh, little lid will go on. Very fine. No problem. Then uh, we have the screws that will go up here to secure the bristles. Same story, don't over tighten them. And the last one. So the last off machine assembly part is to attach this one.
So all of the assembly is now done. We are ready to mount it on the machine. So here we are at the new machine that the new dust shoe will go on. And this is a full sheet machine with uh, some extra space at the back that will allow for example for tool change or something like that but as you can see I have a, a full sheet MDF here that I'm preparing for spoil board and I was about to make some pockets for the bolts but I thought it would be really nice to have the uh, dust shoe on before I did this job this one is equipped with the servo motors on X and Y and a stepper motor on the Z axis. But let's get the assembly done. Yeah, so I take the pipe off here and the flat side is the one that goes here. And it's supposed to be somewhat symmetrical around. And the lower one here. So now after some wiggling everything is in place and I'm essentially ready to add the hose and the glass fiber rods. So here are the pieces for the outfeed. Uh, an aluminum extrusion will use the four holes here and two holes here to hold it to the frame and it will be positioned like this and I'll add. this one has two holes for the two uh, rods so they have to go up so I will turn it this way here and M5 square knot go in all four places Then 25 millimeter screws. So this is the outfeed. 